Two at five homeless advocates protesting downtown. They're against the opening of a shelter dedicated to migrants seeking asylum. Denny's reporter Rena Nakano joins us live from 6th Street where that demonstration took place a little earlier today. Rena. Yeah, many of the people I spoke to here today think that what's going on here, they think it's not really fair. Many of them are now asking why are migrants getting more attention than locals? Americans first! They say it's a reminder of priorities, Americans or those just passing through. Thank you! It's like standing in a grocery store and somebody pushes you to the back of the line and goes in front. That's what these illegal immigrants are doing. Americans first! Melinda Oporto is one of many people protesting the opening of a new temporary asylum seeker shelter in downtown. Last month, the County Board of Supervisors voted to allow humanitarian group San Diego Rapid Response Network to use the vacant San Diego County Family Court building to run the temporary migrant shelter. If they had a heart to help people, they would help everybody and not just choose these invaders. The Rapid Response Network says the people who would benefit from this shelter are in the U.S. legally after being processed, then released by ICE onto the streets of San Diego. They sent 10 News a statement saying, quote, having a temporary emergency shelter in San Diego for asylum seeking families is critical to ensure that they are able to connect with their sponsors and travel to their final destinations across the U.S. The Americans should come first. Still, protesters say millions of dollars worth of medical care and humanitarian services should be directed to what they consider a more deserving group. They should be giving the benefits to the homeless in San Diego and throughout California. The latest homeless count in San Diego County was more than 8,500 in 2018, with nearly 60 percent of them sleeping on the streets. The Rapid Response Network says without this shelter, vulnerable migrants would only add to the homeless population and possibly spark a public health crisis. And back out here live, the humanitarian group does say the lease of this building is only until the end of the year. They also reiterate that this is a temporary shelter where most of the people coming through here, there'll be a group of families with maybe one or two kids and they'll stay will be about 12 to 48 hours. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Thank you, Rena.